Welcome to Recap Diary. Here is the recap of the movie A Star is Born, released in 2018. Jack is a well-known musician. Everyone who attends his shows will pass out. But no one knows that he is gradually losing his sense of hearing, so he drinks every day outside of performing, and his life is generally quite chaotic. One day, after the show, Jack walks into a bar and meets the waitress Ali, who is played by Lady Gaga. Ali works as a server during the day and as a bar singer during the night. She has aspirations of becoming a professional singer, but the reality is always harsh. Ali is obviously filled with optimism at seeing Jack, but first Jack gives Ali a drink on him. Ali is under the impression that Jack is only trying to be friendly with her, but after spending more time with him, she gradually develops a liking for him. She also confides in him about a personal issue. Ali has a talent for singing and there have been many opportunities for her to stand on the stage. But she is shut out because they think she isn't beautiful enough in fact. Lady Gaga went through this in her early days. Jack tells her that she is beautiful, filling her with confidence once more while they are talking about how a drunk man comes over to take a picture with Jack. When they are talking about how Ali has a talent for singing there have been many opportunities for her to stand on. After Ali swiftly hits the drunk man, the two of them flee out of the bar. After this accident, the two get closer and closer to one another. Ali asks Jack, who is a high-profile star, whether they may sleep together. How are you able to put up with other people's harassment? Jack responds to her and tells her about his birth. Because to dystocia, his mother has passed away. He was only 13 when his father passed away. He was raised by his brother, who is nearly 30 years older than him. Jack just grew up like that. The implication is that if he could survive this kind of adversity, why not some harassment? However, Jack has other serious problems, whether it's the people off the stage or the drunkards in the bar. They take pictures with him, not because they care about his music, but because he is a celebrity. Ali, who emits enthusiasm, truly catches Jack's attention, and Jack sees the light in Ali. The next day, they exchange numbers and continue on with their lives again. His music is becoming an old thing. But Ali is full of passion for music. His music is becoming an old thing. Ali goes back to the mundane routine, and Jack gets on the plane to go to the next show soon after Jack sends a driver to pick up Ali to take her to his show. But Ali is obviously not ready for change. Jack's appearance is like a flashlight. She has no confidence to pursue her dream, so she turns down the driver and goes to work as usual, and as a result, the cruel superior says that she is late at this moment, Ali decides that instead of working hard at a job after the performance, the two went back to the hotel, just as their emotions were about to explode. Jack passed out from drinking too much, and finally, Jack's brother had to take care of him. In spite of the fact that Jack and Bobby don't get along with each other very well, Bobby has been secretly supporting Jack. Unfortunately, Jack doesn't think that Bobby is supporting him. The next day, Ali's video from the concert went viral, and they officially became lovers. Jack is likewise committed to giving up drinking for the sake of Ali. The two of them spend their days together performing, composing music and traveling. Ali is also in the beginning stages of her career. Thanks to her talent and Jack's encouragement, she is gradually thrust into the spotlight. A music label discovers Ali and wants to sign a contract with her. Ali is overjoyed to share this news with Jack. However, a drunken Jack covers Ali's face with cake while they celebrate, and he also expresses some jealousy. On the one hand, Jack hopes that Ali can shine, despite the fact that he is concerned about being removed from the competition, and really likes Ali. Ali, he assists the novice Ali in coming into the spotlight. Ali is rising, and Jack gradually puts down his gains and losses under the guidance of his friends. On an ordinary day, Jack puts a ring made of strings on Ali's finger. It's like a simple agreement of him. He proposes to Ali surrounded by friends. They go to the church immediately turning each other into their spouse. They get married without warning suddenly and naturally. However, after marriage, Ali gradually by oneself, she has been asked to play on stage but she cannot accept since she has been fully dominated by commercial music. Jack realizes, as he looks up at Ali performing on stage, that their musical paths have diverged. 
Jack is uninterested in making concessions with regard to popular culture. Ali wins three Grammy nominations for pop music that Jack despises because of this award Grammy and music is equivalent to Oscar in film. Because of this award, Ali feels that her choice is right. She doesn't share the good news with Jack at last. The quarrel between the two breaks out. The two hold their own opinions and finally part unhappily. But the good thing is that they were able to communicate their differences. Ali wins the Best Newcomer Award and Jack, who is deaf and drunk, climbs onto the stage without thinking. As a result, he makes a fool of himself and is incontinent directly on the stage. This catches Ally off guard, but she doesn't blame him. Instead, she and Bobby move Jack to the bathroom to sober up. Jack takes part in abstinence treatment without alcohol paralysis. Ally wins the Best Newcomer Award. Jack is falling deeper and deeper into a despair as he comes to terms with the fact that he almost destroyed his wife's career. Ally doesn't criticize him, but she does actively console him so that Jack can get back on stage. She uses active the rapey as a form of blackmail to force her company to give in to her demands that Jack perform on stage with her. Ali's company tells Jack about the concert and says that he has ruined Ali's career. After listening, Jack realizes that he will only drag Ali down, so he makes up his mind. He stops Ali when she is about to leave home. He just wants to see her more. Ali is unaware of what is coming. She happily leaves for the evening show. The concert is a great success, while Jack commits suicide. Ali is unaware of what is coming. She happily leaves for the evening show. The concert is devastated after Jack's death, and her life is depressed as a result. Finally, she remembers her husband on stage saying the song that Jack had written for her before he passed away. The spotlight shines, and a star is born, but it is accompanied by the fall of another star. The title of the movie is A Star Is Born, and it is Bradley Cooper's directorial debut. The movie is his first attempt at live singing and music creation that he has never. A Star Is Born is an impressive and emotionally compelling piece of work that examines the ups and downs of fame, love, and addiction. Both Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga give outstanding performances that transport viewers into the real and gritty worlds of the people they portray. The score of the movie is also really good and helps to give the narrative more depth. It serves as a reminder of the price of fame, as well as the enduring power of love through its depiction of the challenges and sacrifices that are made in the pursuit of success. It's a cinematic experience that breaks your heart, you'll never forget it, and it creates an impression that stays with you forever. And that's the end of this recap. Make sure to subscribe, share, and comment. Remember, your engagement and support keep us motivated. Thanks for staying till the end. See you at the next one.